Welcome to Shreveport, Louisiana, home to the 11th oldest bowl game in college football, the Radiance Technologies Independence Bowl. Kickoff team on the field, ready to start this postseason classic. And it'll come out to the 25, no attempt at a return. So Kansas offense will get the first possession of the game. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. I get it that the game is the primary thing about going to a bowl, but there are so many festivities surrounding it, Jesse. What do you remember about something you experienced? There was a lot of pageantry when I think back to the bowl games I played in, and you had functions, you get to visit a brand new city, generally in warm weather, you get to meet the other team with some friendly competition. The biggest thing that stands out to me, though, was a street brawl against the Miami Hurricanes. The expressway is wide open. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And the Jayhawks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Quick strike complete. Shows off another move and gets down to the 33-yard line. Kept it on the ground on first down. Let's see what they do on second. Pulls and fires complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. The Jayhawks are flying down the field. Running back searching for a hole. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Nice run there on first down. You know this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Running behind that left side. Brought down after a pickup of two to the 19. The seventh play of this opening drive. They'll need to move the chains on third and short. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. They've decided to try to go for the field goal here. Third and short in college football today, you see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before, and here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drop. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. Head coach has to be happy. So Indiana's offense taking the field for a chance we have to see them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? of this football team and generally games go how these guys play if they make plays they've got a shot to win this one no doubt they gotta show up Th these are the team leaders these guys have to play well if they're gonna win the football game. the short hands it's black they make the stop not a whole lot of ground picked up there and they'll have work to do to get the first down nice completion nice short game now it sets up third down and wait a minute third down now be and the deep shot is complete inside the 35-yard line. Touchdown, Hoosiers! Hold it in and just kept right on running to the Hallelujah Land. And the extra point makes it 7-3. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Coming out with it, it's Stewart. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now, they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field. I think if you want to take the next step, too, here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Off the RPO, complete. And he's still running after the move. 
And he breaks into... Oh, my goodness, he's still moving. Huge plays like that can change the complexion of a game, and he's got it at the 22-yard line. And this offense has to be feeling it after that last one, and it'll snap it first and 10 just outside the 20. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. They'll go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carry. Great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. They'd hope to be able to pick up enough after the catch, but a good stop leaves them with a fourth and short. Really good job by the defense being physical, understanding the situation in the game. The ball's going to come out quick. You know that. Go make the tackle. Force the fourth down. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. That last drive, really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Clock strike zero here in the quarter, and Indiana is on top. We played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. Pressure coming. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. And the Hoosiers will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. The Kansas offense returns to the field. Had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field. Stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line. So they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and get six points. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. He's got his man. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And the Jayhawks will try to pin them back with the punt. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And they'll keep it away from the return man as the punt goes out of bounds. So we'll see this offense make its way out to start the drive. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. To the air. It's Cherry. Gets it out fast. Boy, that was a precision play all the way around. Throw, catch, tackle. Bang, bang, bang. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. The Hoosiers will have it first and 10. They're going to ride this running back. Past the sticks, and he may get more. Tackled at the 43 after picking up 10. And the Hoosiers are moving quickly down the field. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw which can help them get back Trying play action. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. They line up, and 
it is a long way to the sticks from here. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. The Hoosiers line up to punt it away. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. Kansas gets the ball back and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 16. Got three on first down at second and seven. Takes the handoff. It's Morrison. Ran to that daylight to pick up six to the 22. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. you got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. They've got it first and 10 from the 25. Looking to move it through the air. Finds the tight end. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. To the air on first down. Fires to the wideout. And it was worth going for a chunk play, but the long pass is incomplete. He had him open there, and I know this quarterback expects to make that throw. It's a tough throw because, again, you got a couple steps on a guy. That's not wide open. These DBs are so fast, but that is a throw that you do expect a guy like that, that caliber, to be able to play a pitch and catch and make that happen. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. Wants to go up top. Safe completion on the screen. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. Timeout called by the defense is their first of the half as they'll go to the sideline and try to make adjustments. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Looking for a productive play on first down. He wants to throw. He wants to take the top off. Makes the grab on the right. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Big plays like that makes play calling so much easier. Now it's first and 10 from the 34. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. Looking to throw, it's Cherry. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Great job by the defense forcing the fumble, but a bad, unfortunate bounce, and the offense pounces back. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Crosses the 30, he's got away. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to get the three. Right down the boulevard, it's good. So they put the field goal on the board and about to kick it away, and hoping that'll be the final point of this first half. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. The Kansas offense returns to the field. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point that the offense can improve. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in a second. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They'll throw it on first down. Unloads to the wideout. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? The Jayhawks will snap it on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. He's got it down the middle. 
And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Just inside the 40-yard line, it's first and 10 from the 39. He's going to pass. Not the type of accuracy you typically see from this senior quarterback. Couldn't make the connection on first down. Now here on second. He's looking to throw. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. And they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. He says he's got a big leg. He's going to have to show it from 56 yards out. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. So the offense has done its job. They have the lead, and they'll secure it as we head to halftime. And the Jayhawks will line up to kick off and start the second half. He'll call for the fair catch here. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. They got it done in the first half, but the job now, follow up, close the deal, and bring home a bowl victory. Finish. You hear teams say it all the time. That applies to them right now, David, here in the second half. It's a lot of really good things in that first half. Need some more big plays here to get this belt. And you've seen it with bowl game. Big swings, man. With when the rust comes off after that first half and people get in the rhythm, you've seen big comebacks. So I know they're winning, but keep the foot on the gas. This first. And it's caught inside the 20. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Indiana. They'll try to add another to their lead. And they kick it through for the extra point, and they have an eight-point lead. What a display of explosive capabilities on that drive. 75 yards, two plays, and a touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Delivers the contact. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. And that pass is intercepted. Going the other way, and he's got room. Touchdown, Hoosiers! The defense puts six on the board with a big-time interception return. And with the extra point, they move on top by 15. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Every we turn to offense, go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. Off the play fake on first down, the throw. It's complete. He's off to the races. The 30. Just what they were looking for, a huge explosive play in there inside the 15 at the 13-yard line. They say it's still a game of field position, and that last one just flipped this baby. They've got it first and 10 in the red zone. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Direct snap. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. They are really clicking along first and goal on just the fourth play of the drive. On the option. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Rock Chuck Jayhawk. Oh, the offense shows some life here. He cuts into the lead with that score. And, man, they needed it. They had to have something to go right. Listen, still down. But this is a great start to get back in this ball game. Indiana, 24, Kansas. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. 
Jesse a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. He finds his man. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Trying to move the sticks on third down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. With jet sweep pass. And the Hoosiers will have a first down. And just went with something very easy, very reliable. Flip the floor, let your receiver do the rest. I only got to get a few yards. Nice job. Nice execution. First down. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Now facing a third and long. Back to pass. It's Cherry. Gets it out quickly. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks. And you come up with rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. Well, they're unable to come up with that one on fourth down. And I remember this as a player. You practice specific plays on fourth down for those types of situations. And you know all week against the scout team, they've gotten really clean looks, easy to execute against. They didn't get a clean look that time. So you chalk it up to the defense and take note of it next time. You might not run that play again if you're in a similar situation. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. Getting some heat. Didn't have much of a choice. Just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. The Jayhawks send out the punt unit. And this is why you don't want to get in these situations. Third and long. Defense knows it's pass. They're playing pass, playing deep. QB has nowhere to go with the football, so he just throws it away. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. There have been a couple of missed opportunities for these offenses in the last couple of drives, Jesse. And I think for this offense here, it'd be nice to hit an explosive play, be aggressive, and really pay off your defense's effort that last drive. And instead of having to move the ball down the field consistently and then getting stopped on fourth downs, you're right. Create some of those explosives. Take those deep shots. Make those big plays. That big pickup on what they call the drag route, but if you hit it on time, you can hit the turbo boost. He's got to be accurate on the throw, too, Reese. Nice job by the QB there, putting it out in front of his receiver to make an easy catch and then advance it. The Hoosiers will punt it away on fourth down. Well, in the first half, this offense was up and down the field. It seemed like everything they were dialing up was working. And here we are in the third quarter, and there's a very rare incompletion on their own end of the field. Maybe that's the play the defense needs now to spark some momentum. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. And he's brought down after a solid gain, and that'll be the final play of the third quarter. Clock strike zero here in the quarter, and Indiana is on top. They've done the work to build a nice cushion now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. They'll try to power their way ahead. And the ball squirted out. The defense pounced on that. Now they're headed the other way. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Gonna run it. It's black. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Well, you got to give this offense a ton of credit because normally they've got the lead because of this running back. Today, it's actually despite him. They really haven't gotten the production out of him that they expect week in, week out. you got to give the defense credit for that. But other guys on offense have been able to step up enough to make the plays necessary to give them the lead. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. 
He has the first and still on his feet. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. And this offense not only has a chance to extend the lead on first and goal, but they can all... And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Indiana! The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead, now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Kansas offense returns to the field. And after that last turnover, David, prime example sometimes, the harder you try, the worse it gets. And it just puts you behind the eight ball. I mean, this offense has to do something. Put it together. you got a deficit column. You need some mojo. Something needs to go your way. At this point of the game, they've got to score touchdowns every time they have possession. Off the play fake. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Finds his man down the middle. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Fires on the move. Makes the grab. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day, so been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? That would have been 500 out of one night. It's a big deal to me in college football, no doubt. Now listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far from over. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. Back to the air one more time. Coming after it. The sure hands. It's Morrison. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. And the Jayhawks racing to the line in a hurry up. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. Looking down the middle. And the throw down the gut falls to the grass. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Leaves it with the back. They pull him down at the 17 after a pickup of three. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. He took a hit as he could and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. No hesitation at all. The offense stays on the field. They'll go for it. On fourth down, trying to find his man. A shot toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Rock Chop. How do you not love the guts of this offense? Fourth down, it's just another down. And what do they do? Stay aggressive, throw the football down the field, make the big play, get the big touchdown. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't get on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game, so a lot to process and think about. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much.
much time as possible for their offense. Well, we are winding it down, guys. Only a few more plays left in this season. Also wrapping up a really outstanding performance for this offense. Yeah, and they're sending out the seniors on the right foot. Guys, we've seen a lot of great football. There have been so many tremendous moments and individual efforts, David. This is a year in college football. I know I'll never do that. Won't forget it. Loved working with you guys. Loved being in the booth. Loved covering these football games. I'll tell you what, a lot of excitement in college football surrounding the sport, man. Let's just keep loving on it. The give to the tailback. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. The give to the lone running back. Picks up just a few before he's brought down. Not really willing to take a risk there on third and long. And the Hoosiers will call on their punt team. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Pulls it in at the 25. He's got great speed. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. It's a long shot. I know that you have to keep fighting to the bitter end, Jesse. But they call it a long shot for a reason, because they've still technically got a shot. I know it's not great, David, but let's see these guys fight to the end. It's not great, but keep fighting. Keep spinning that pill around. Use every second on this clock to try to get this game as close as you can. A deep throw as the clock winds down. It's incomplete, and they had a chance Ooh, in the end zone, and they just the first couldn't come forever. up with it, and that's going to do it. You want to talk about building confidence, coming through with clutch plays, making the winning plays at the right time can really set the course for the rest of the season. Yeah, Reese, maturity and experience matters, and this team has guys that have played a lot of snaps, they've seen a lot of looks, and they've lost close games like this in the past. That wasn't the case today, David. Too many guys out there making big-time plays. And I think belief is what you build, that confidence. You know you're going to win. You don't think you're going to win. You know you're going to make that play in the big moment that continues to build on week-to-week -week success, and you look up and you're like, dang, we strung a couple wins together. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation 